shut up and listen. Do I have your attention? Good, because today we're talking about when to shut up and when to listen. For instance, it's a good idea to shut up when you're trying to learn something new. Or how about when your spouse comes home from a long day, a hard day, and they just want to vent to you. Are you one of those people that turn around and try to solve all of their problems by interjecting into their conversations? Hey, think about it. Sometimes silence is a great power. And the greatest power we have is the power to listen. And yet we exercise that the least. For the life of me, I just wish we could just sit there and listen. But it's such a hard skill. We try so hard to interject our opinions into everyone's conversations. Why is it that so many of us have such a problem with shutting up? Hey, I'm glad you're here. And if you would do me a favor, hit that thumbs up so that the algorithm will push us out to more people because we're growing a community of leaders here at Pathway to Leadership. And I want you to be part of it and everyone you know to be part of it also. You do have to remember, sometimes the more you say, the more you sound like a fool. Especially when you insert yourself in a conversation that you have no knowledge about. And I think we've all been there one time or two. Try being part of the conversation on a limited level. In other words, you're gonna just listen and you're gonna learn. And you know, sometimes we're preconditioned to just jump into a conversation when there's a pause, just to fill up the space because we can't stand the silence. Emily Dickinson, a 19th century poet, said, if you have nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. And if you're going to say something that doesn't add to the conversation, well, guess what? Be silent. That's powerful. And Dalai Lama says, well, silence sometimes is the best answer. It's very powerful. And of course, no response is sometimes the best response. Are we starting to paint a picture here? We keep doing this when we should be doing this. And I know that we just finished a series about talking about the fake leader. The fake leader wants to interject themselves into every conversation to make themselves sound smart. Well, when you're interjecting yourself into every conversation, you're forgetting one thing. When you're doing this, you're not doing this. And you're missing out on all the things that you could learn from the conversation that you're trying to interject yourself into. So trying to understand and bring this all together, I guess the easiest way to do it is let's look at everything that we do on a daily basis should be focused on listening more and talking less. Who knows? Maybe when you start to listen to the things that are going on around you, you might actually learn something. And when you finally realize that listening is a lot more important than talking, then you're definitely on your pathway to leadership.